Hey girls, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Vivian Rose. In this week's episode, we're going to talk on all things how to actually be happier. So literally, how to be happy and enjoy your life, plus how to boost your mood. This episode was heavily inspired by Fernanda Ramirez's A Better You podcast when she had an episode really similar to this one. But I really want to create an episode like this because but specifically for teenage girls because a lot of times people create podcast episodes just for like adults or people that just aren't in our age group and I really want to make an episode just like that but in a teenage girl type of aspect or point of view or lens so that it can actually help us specifically. So if you are new to the podcast, welcome or if you're an OG girly, welcome back. In this podcast we talk all things teenage girls. So we talk about mental health, lifestyle, fashion, high school advice, big sister advice, balance, positive mindsets, goal setting, living a life of luxury as a teenage girl, style, and just so, so much more. So I'm really happy that you are tuning into this week's episode. Thank you so, so much for tuning in for another episode and just following the podcast. Now let's get right into the actual episode. First, we're going to start off with our weekly segments. First is our Monday motivation. So first of all, just like a little pep talk for you guys. It's Monday and you know what that means. A fresh start, a new canvas to paint your dreams and just manifest life you want and just to full new week of opportunities and just waiting to be seized just so many cool things to do at the beginning of the week you can plan out your entire week all these different plans you can do hang out with your friends you can take a self-care day you can like read two books in a day one day if you want to you can go on a walk have an exercise day have a library run day have a shopping day have a putting together outfits in my closet day have a trying different makeup and hairstyles type of day it's so fun to be mondays because you can just plan out your entire week and just like have the best week you know just like a brand new fresh start and I know that you've got this so remember that you are the powerhouse of potential strength and resilience whatever challenges or adventures this week may bring view them as a stepping stone on your journey to greatness embrace the uniqueness that is within you with all of your talents aspirations your weaknesses everything embrace it because there's only one you on this earth and that's you also as you navigate throughout this week channel the confidence of your like fashion sense and I know a lot of people are always like I feel so nervous to wear like my actual style but I really want you guys to be confident in your actual style like your own personal style not to try to like dress like someone else or not to try to be someone else because every outfit that you wear tells a story you may have on a all black outfit today that may be because I don't know like maybe you're not feeling your best right now maybe you're just in that type of like mood you know like you know how teenage girls we get kind of moody sometimes maybe you just want to wear that all day or maybe you just like the color black like me it does not matter literally each outfit tells its own story and make sure that your outfits tell your own story and not the story of someone else's you don't want your outfits to tell a story from some person you saw like on tiktok or just like a copy and paste of what you see out in the world you want to become your own person and that goes with dressing your own way in your own style so try to remember that this week also it's really really important to remember every small detail and every small step that you take toward your goals and every smile you share every moment you spend doing what you love it all contributes to the masterpiece of your life and the end goal that you are going to achieve in this lifetime also don't forget to celebrate your victories no matter how small and learn from the challenges that come your way Each day, like I said, is an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to become a better version of yourself. So I want you guys to just stand tall and just try your best this week. And just let this week be a full new opportunity to show your strength, your resilience, and just the beauty of you. And just like your fashion, literally everything. I want this week to be a fresh new start for you. Whether last week you had a really emotional week, maybe last week you just had a bad week then that's okay. This week is a a fresh new start for you to just try again and just literally just have a week filled with joy, accomplishments, and just like a really good belief in yourself and your incredible potential. So remember that you're unstoppable and you can absolutely achieve everything that you want to this week. Now let's get into our fashion icon of the week, which this week is Zendaya. I really, really love Zendaya. Her style is just so, so cute. She's always known for her like bold electric fashion choices. And I feel like it's always so, so cute because it's like so effortless at the same time it's like blends of elegance and like edginess at the same time she's kind of like an elegant like rock star if that makes sense it's like she always has on like these really cute like cut edge outfits but they're also in really nice neutral tones as well it kind of gives like hollywood glamour but kind of like grunge at the same time i really really love her outfits so they're always super cute 
and I just love her street style, her red carpet styles, literally everything that she wears is always so, so cute. Next is our quote of the week, which is from Steve Jobs. It is, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. I love this little, like, peak of wisdom because it's so, so true. You need to approach every task with love and passion and watch how it transforms into something truly remarkable in your life. Next is what I've been up to this week. So right now it is close to Thanksgiving break. When you're listening to this, it is Thanksgiving break already for me, but I'm recording this earlier. Um, I'm really excited for the school break, honestly, because I just oh, I just love when we have a week off of school and we're really almost done with the semester. Um, I end my semester in on December 20th, I believe, and right now it's November 16th. And I get back like at school after Thanksgiving break which is basically December 1st so we only have like a couple weeks left of school which I'm really excited for but also I have a lot of finals and just exams to take which I am a little bit nervous for but I know I can do it and you should know that you can do it as well but I'm really excited for the school break just full of girl blogging and just buying wildflower phone cases and just shopping it's just gonna be a really fun week Also, I'm really excited for the Wildflower sale. Their Wildflower phone cases are going on sale. I'm super, super excited. I've already, like, marked my calendars and stuff because I am a huge Wildflower girly. I'm always buying their phone cases and stuff, so I'm just really, really excited to shop during the sale and save some money. My period did come on this week, which is kind of like a down of the week because, like, no one likes their period. Who does? And it's just not my high of the week because it gets me pretty tired. My back hurts. My stomach hurts, obviously. I get headaches. I just get really weak. I lose my appetite. It's just not ideal for me, but I'm making the best of it and just doing what I can right now. Also, I've been making plans to hang out with my best friend next week during the Thanksgiving break we have. I'm literally so, so excited to see her. Also, next week, I have a hair appointment, but I'm really excited to see my best friend next week. Literally, like, she is literally me, but in, like, a different body. Like, we're just, oh my gosh, she's literally, like, my person. Like, she is, she means everything to me. So, I love my best friend, and I'm going to see her next week, which I'm super, super excited to do. But next, let's get into our featured listener. That's basically what I've been up to this week. I haven't really been doing too much because, like I said, my period came on, so I've been pretty sleepy and tired, just catching up on rest and stuff like that. So, I have two um, featured listeners of the week, which is first Valen from Pinterest. Her um, at is V, well, it's not her app, but this is how you pronounce her name. I don't know how to pronounce it the exact correct way, but that's just my guess, Valen, V-A-L-E-N. She is a super sweet girly. I really, really appreciate what she said. So this is what she said. Hi, I just wanted to say I'm in love with your podcast. I feel like there was such a gap where most podcasts are centered on adulthood and not many are just focused on being a teenage girl you're doing amazing keep it up I love you so much that is literally the sweetest thing ever like I know I say all the time but it really is the sweetest thing ever y'all have no idea how much I just want to come over and just give you like a hug and just like literally just oh, I just want to give you a hug like literally Valen you were so so sweet you're just like you literally made my day when you, when you dm me that on Pinterest I was just so so happy and I completely agree with you literally there really just like aren't that many podcasts for teenage girls and if there are it's not like what we're going through right now it's like older teenage girls are like I know like I'm almost done being a teenager but I'm saying like when I say older teenage girls I mean teenage girls who are like in their 20s but still teenage girls if you know what I mean like you can be like 25 but still 19 so that's basically what those podcasts are about but there's no podcast literally about like us you know like we're a girl gang like us right here we're close knit like girl gang and like I feel like there's not a lot of podcasts that just talk about the things that we need to becoming the best version of yourself as a teenager because literally when you walk around just your school or people who are around your age no one is trying to become the best version of yourself they're on their phones the entire day all they do is just like those things that like normal teenagers do and we want to be those eight girl teenagers we want to be those teenage girls who people look up to and people who are like oh I wish I could be her because that's what we do we're either eight girls in trainings or we're eight girls in general so I really 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 appreciate you for sending me that you are such an eight girl literally a girl like girl gang vibes I literally love that I just want to say thank you so much for sending me that dm and just saying that you're in love with my podcast because literally it's just so nice to get a little 
boost of energy and boost of motivation and just someone appreciating like um the work that I put into the podcast I'm not saying that you guys don't appreciate it because I get dms all the time and comments about it but I'm saying someone's this person specifically who sent me these kind words saying that I'm doing amazing keep it up that's literally the sweetest thing ever and I just truly appreciate that more and more and more than you know Valen truly I'm sorry if, I, if I'm like completely like screwing up your name but that is like how I would see it and so please correct me if I'm wrong but that is truly the sweetest thing ever I just really appreciate that so so much you don't even know I just really appreciate that also have another featured listener of the week and I do not know how to pronounce the name you guys I'm so bad at this so it is o-t-i-l-i-n-e I'm thinking Odeline 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 something along those lines I'm sorry if I'm completely screwing up your name please forgive me but that is the name Odeline so this is what they commented on my post on Pinterest. It was like my YouTube, new YouTube video post. It was, I loved it. They were talking about my YouTube video. And they said, it's so much better than those other videos like that because they had so many good new tips. You've motivated me to go thrifting now. By the way, I absolutely love everything about you, your channel, and your Pinterest and podcast. Everything is so motivating and your podcast has really helped me to become the best version of myself. XOXO Autoline. Literally the most sweetest thing ever in the entire world. I just, oh, y'all, I just wish I could give y'all a hug. Like, literally, like, hugging is just, like, my appreciation. <laughs> I just want to give all of you guys a hug. Like, you guys are the sweetest. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, like, I was having, like, a smile attack when I read this comment. It was literally so, so sweet. And I just, like, I just had to feature you in my podcast episode because that literally, that warmed my heart. My heart is exploding with, like, rainbows and just like happiness and hearts and just like all the pastel colors is just melting right now because I'm just so happy and I'm just like I just feel so appreciated by y'all and I just really 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 appreciate that auto line truly like that is oh, so so sweet literally you've motivated me to continue making episodes and just doing my youtube channel and everything it's just it's so sweet I just truly 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 appreciate that so thank you so so much and I'm just so proud of you for becoming the best version of yourself as well the final prompt of the week is what are three things that made you smile or feel grateful today cultivating a habit of gratitude by reflecting on the positive moments each day and just thinking about what made me smile and what made me happy today can really just help you to notice and to pay attention to those little moments of happiness those little moments of joy that you can just remember every day this simple journal prompt can actually shift your focus on the good things in life no matter how small they are Next is our psychology fact of the week, which is the power of smiling. Did you know that smiling not only boosts your mood, but also reduces stress? I actually learned that in my psychology class, and I was like, I have to share it with you girlies. So it's a natural stress reliever because when you smile, it's like contagious. You know, when you smile, you see someone else smile. And just sharing your smiles generously this week can really spread the joy. That is it for my segments. Now we have to get into the actual episode, how to be happier, literally how to actually be happy and enjoy your life, plus boosting your mood. Hey girlies, I'm going to wrap the episode just for a quick second and tell you guys about my Black Friday sale going on at Stylish Trends. I have 50% off all of my lip glosses, all the dazzling glitter, normal, like all the cute little lip glosses that you guys have been having your eye on. Go check them out right now. I have so many on sale right now. The whole range is like at least like so many cute lip glosses they give off like such the cute like it girl teenage girl lana del rey vinyl type of aesthetic literally any lip gloss that you want i have it on there i have a pink glitter one i have an iridescent shimmer one i have like a purple one i have like a pink one that's like a straight pink one and literally a clear one anything that you could ever want in a lip gloss i have the color for you they're all 50 percent off go check them out next is 20 percent off of all of my ebooks even the gratitude ebook that i released back in september it's 20% off literally it's like eight dollars instead of ten dollars now you need to get it right now it's literally super super affordable and I have like a bunch of other ones that are like on sale as well so go check those out right now there's so much more coming in the future for the black friday sale but that is it for right now and don't forget with every purchase you're going to receive a complimentary beauty sample if you um or like a physical product I'll throw in something free throw in a freebie so you guys will definitely be sure to appreciate and just love and fall in love with all of my stylish trends products I really hope you guys enjoy it I really hope you guys try it it out and literally everything is so so cute so so affordable so teenage girl coquette type of vibes and aesthetics i will leave a link to it in the description down below but it's www.shopstylishtrends with a z.com
Okay, so our first section is gratitude galore. This is one of the most important things on cultivating happiness and just a joyful life is cultivating gratitude. Whenever you feel like you're lacking something or you just don't have everything you want or you just feel like everyone is having fun but you, that's when you need to take the second to look and see what you do have and be appreciative for what you have. I'm not trying to sound like your mom or something telling you like be appreciative for what you have, you have more than you think, but there's truth to those statements that people say because it is true and when you actually sit back and look and you just think about what do I have and if you just take off your ego take off all what you wish you had and look at where you were a couple years ago and then look at where you are right now in this moment you can see a lot of things to be grateful for you can see a lot of things that you can now do that you maybe couldn't have done years ago maybe you can be grateful for your new mindset. You can be grateful just to wake up every day. You can be grateful for the Bible. You can be grateful for working legs to let you walk around the house. You can be grateful for the clothes you have in your closet. You can be grateful for your animals and your puppies to lighten up your day. And there's so many things to be grateful for. You just have to take notice of the gratitude. Like for me, I am grateful for so many things every single day. A lot of people maybe it just goes off of their head being able to breathe normally like just be able to breathe without having to take medicine every day I have asthma and I have to take a breathing medicine every single day I have to take an inhaler every single day and some people don't have to do that and they take that for granted but for me I'm just grateful that I have an inhaler so that I can breathe better than I was before I um didn't know that I didn't that I had asthma like I'm grateful that I have medicine to help me I'm grateful for everything that I have and you should do the same thing kickstarting your day by just jotting down a few things that you're grateful for can start your day off with gratitude it's not even just something that humans came up with this stuff is in the bible this stuff goes back years and years ago it's just said in a different way like the same way that um, if I tell you to be grateful for what you have right now, the Bible is going to say the exact same thing, but it's going to say it in a different way than me explicitly telling you right here. I've realized that when you take a second and look and just see different things that you should be grateful for, different things that you could be grateful for, different things that you're grateful for that hasn't even happened yet, the happier that you are in your life. You could be grateful for something as simple as a sunny day. You could be grateful for something as simple as a rainy day. You could be grateful for a warm cup of hot chocolate. You can be grateful for having breakfast on your table. You could be grateful for a text from your friend who maybe you were thinking about texting her, but she already texted you. You can be grateful for anything in your life. Gratitude sets the tone for a positive mindset, which equals a positive day. I'm so sorry if you hear my dog barking, barking in the background. She is so, so loud. The next bullet point I have is mindful moments. So mindful breathing. Take a few moments every day for mindful breathing. What I mean by this is inhaling. Every time you inhale, when you breathe, like inhale positivity and exhale negativity. It's a simple practice that can help you stay present and centered even on the busiest days. I really love to, when I have different things, I know I have to do that's pretty difficult. So say, for example, I have a a math assignment to do today. I am going to meditate in the morning because meditating helps me to center my focus onto what I need to be working on. It keeps me into the study mode for longer than I would have been without doing it. Meditating helps me to just be in a better state of mind. So if I know that I am going to have more to do, then I'm going to meditate, obviously. That's another example of a mindful moment. Another thing is when I said to inhale positivity, you can inhale positive energy, inhale nice things, inhale good things. And when you exhale, let go of all the negativity, let go of everything. And what I mean by that is to visually look and imagine yourself letting go of all the negative things. Write down in your journal, what is bringing me down right now? What is making me so upset right now? If you don't know, ask yourself questions till you figure it out. Start with the base question. How am I feeling today? Let's say you say, I'm feeling bad. Why are you feeling bad? I'm feeling bad because my sister told me she didn't like my dress. This is an example. Well, why do you think my sister said she didn't like my dress? Well, maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe her period was coming on and she's just not having a good day right now. Well, what can I do to look at this in a positive lens? This could be, you have to look at humans as just a reflection of humans like the 
humans can't be anything more than what we are, you know? And you can't be upset for someone saying something rude to you when they were on their period. Maybe they are in the hospital bed and they just don't care about what you're saying right now. They're just caring about staying alive. You have to look at people's circumstances and feel sympathy for them. And I'm not saying that in every single scenario. You can look at people and see what their intentions are. If their intention is to bring you down, then you should know that their intention is to bring you down. You don't have to do the things that I just said. If their intention is to bring you down, then don't even acknowledge that person. But if their intentions are not to bring you down, if they're if they're, what they're trying to do is bring you up, but they actually am just having a bad day, you have to look at that and treat people how you want to be treated. Next is happiness playlists. These are just feel-good tunes that I love. So I love to create a playlist filled with my favorite songs. I just feel like music has a power to uplift your soul, uplift your spirit, just make you feel happier. So play music that you want to dance and sing along to. Maybe not listen to super sad music right now. Maybe listen to something that makes you want to dance, makes you happy. My um, playlist that I love to listen to is I love listening to songs that really just keep me upbeat. So I'll listen to Taylor Swift, 1989. 1989 is such a good dance pop album. I love to listen to that and just scream along the lyrics. Red, like 22, We're Never Getting Back Together. Those are such anthems to me. I just love to scream those songs. They make me happy. And I just feel like screaming and just like saying songs that you like, just seeing them and making playlists for moments when you just want to be happy or just embracing your happiness around you can really just be a great way to be happier. Next is surround yourself with positivity. So positive people are very important in your life because if you don't know, you are the people that you hang out with. When you hang out with people for so long, the things that they do, they start to rub off on you. So that could be a good thing and a bad thing. If you have good friends, then the goodness is going to rub off on you and you're going to become a better person. If you have friends that maybe aren't the best for you, they have habits that just are not what you want to cultivate, maybe you should look for better friends because... The more you hang out with these people, the more that you're going to be okay with the things that they do, good or bad. The more you're going to be okay with them rubbing off onto you, good or bad. You need to be able to spend time with people who radiate positive energy. You don't want to be around people who are just negative all the time. You don't don't want to be around people who are just like, I don't know if you know the phrase Debbie Downers, who are just like sad all the time. They're always just depressed. They're always just like bringing you down. When you say such a nice day, they'd be like, oh, it's horrible outside today. If you say, look at that sunset, so pretty, they'd be like, I've seen a better one. Like, you know, you don't want to hang out with people who just radiate negative energy. Whatever you say, they are are negative about it. You don't want to be around people like that. Surrounding yourself with uplifting friends can significantly impact your mood and your outlook on life. If you have a group of friends who you're all just depressed, you're all just talking about how much you just want to die or whatever like that, then that's going to make your outlook on life sad and in a darker lens than if you had a group of friends that actually were full of life. They enjoyed life. They enjoy the things that they do every single day. That's a different type of impact on your mood and your outlook on life than someone else. We need to remember that. Next is random acts of kindness. So spreading the joy in life can just be such a fun thing to do. I feel like when you are giving back the people who have helped you, who have helped you, and just giving back the people who need help can always make you feel better and always bring happiness. It could be as simple as leaving a sweet note for a friend, texting a friend, telling them how much you mean to them, telling them like that um, that you appreciate them. Like anything, even the smallest things can be so, so nice. And people really appreciate that. Helping someone with their workload. If one of your friends maybe need help with their chemistry assignment, you can help them. Just these acts of kindness not only boost your mood by knowing that you just helped someone and you feel amazing that you just helped someone, but it can also create a ripple effect of happiness. When you feel good about helping someone, that person you help feel good because they were just helped. You know, they're having a good day. Maybe they were having a terrible day until you sent them that text message saying how much you appreciate them. You just boosted someone's mood while boosting your own mood. Literally, that's like double points. Next is move your body. You hear this all the time. I know you do, girl. You hear this all the time. But joyful exercise and just moving your body at least once a day is amazing. 
I have to interrupt the episode just for a couple seconds to talk about my new coffee line, Bliss Brew Coffee, Sip Into Chic. I'm super excited because I've never had a coffee line before, so I'm really happy to be talking to you guys about it. My first blend that I have out right now is my Oso Brazilian Blend. It's a four-ounce Brazilian blend coffee. Brazilian blend coffee has notes of cocoa powder, caramel, and walnuts. It's literally, like, the most richest taste, and it's really cool, and it's, like, super sweet, nutty, all those nice little flavors in it. It's, like, perfect. Also, if you're on, like, a strict diet, it's literally gluten-free, vegetarian lactose free 100% natural and it has no fillers it's like sugar free it has none of that nasty stuff that it's in most coffees today it's literally like 100% natural so you guys are totally gonna love it it's only $12 for a four ounce and it's literally delicious I'm telling you guys go buy it right now I have the link in my show notes down below give it a try give it a taste and I'll get right into the episode really if you look into the science of exercise and look into the science of when you have like dopamine rushes serotonin if you just like really research that you will understand how exercising can really really bring a happiness onto your day honestly it really does it could be just turning on um some taylor swift music it could be turning on olivia rodrigo Lafay. Um, really anything that you like, just turn it on like music wise and just dance around to it. Walk around to the music you like. Walking is one of the most underrated exercises literally in the history of exercises to me because just going on like a short walk that can do so much for your body than what you realize honestly doing yoga i talk about it all the time because i love it you can do yoga pilates all you have to do is get out there and do some exercising and you will realize your boost a boost in your mood literally like for me i've been exercising the past few days because my period has been on and i've noticed i'm not as happy as i was before my period and yes it has to do with my period hormones all that junk but it's also really, really important to exercise because it just boosts your mood. And when you don't do it, it's kind of like my mood isn't the same as it was when I was exercising. Going on a nature walk, moving your body just releases endorphins and it instantly boosts your mood. That's what we were made to do. Digital detox days. Unplugging and unwinding from social media can just be an amazing thing. I know people talk about things like this all the time, but really just give it a try. Designate one day or even just a few hours to de- to disconnect from social media and your electronic devices. Use this time to engage in activities that you love without any digital distractions. Do different things that you used to love to do, but you find yourself not having time to do it anymore because of your phone. Maybe that could be reading a physical book. That could be cleaning up your room. You need to clean up your room, but you've just been so distracted by your phone. It could be getting your homework assignments done. It could be anything or just drawing, like writing stories, poems, poetry, reading the Bible, going on a walk. Anything that you've been wanting to do, but your phone has been a distraction, designate a few hours. If you're brave enough, do a day. And you can literally just designate an entire day just to doing this. And do not do not put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Do not try to play me with that trick. Turn your phone off and just don't turn it on the rest of the day. Literally, it's that easy. Especially if you can, if you're with the people who message you, like your mom. If you're with your mom, she does not need to text you if you're, she's with you, you know what I'm saying? So I really just feel like it's really important to at least do like a couple hours just of digital detox. Next is creating your happy space. Have a personalized, oh, Burberry keeps barking, I'm so sorry create a happy space so have a personalized little room that you have designate a corner of your room as your happy space fill it with things that bring you joy you can have photos of you and your friends you and your family memories that just make like a a warm feeling in your heart print out those pictures and put them on your wall put them next to your bed so every time you wake up you're reminded of these happy memories inspirational quotes that you like even a cozy blanket it's just your go-to spot for moments of reflection and relaxation and just moments of happiness Discover your passions. This is the next point. Now, discovering your passions can be a little difficult for some people, but it's not that hard. Invest time in activities that you maybe are interested in. Maybe if you don't know what you're interested in, then just try different activities that maybe that just like ring a bell. Maybe like you see your friend do it. Try it. If you don't like it, then it's okay. If you do end up liking it, then you found your passion. Whether it's writing, painting, coding, doing whatever, it can just add fulfillment and happiness to your life in every way i really feel like just discovering your passions and just be such an amazing thing number 10 mindset matters positive affirmations start your day with positive affirmations 
I even have a little um, mini series with Safia. She does positive affirmations every single Thursday on my podcast. You can listen to those. There, there you go. It's super easy. Look them up on Pinterest. Just restate them to yourself. Just reminding yourself of your worth and your capabilities can just be so amazing. Positive self-talk can reshape your mindset and set the stage for a happier day. Number 11, connect with nature. Outdoor things can just be so, so amazing. And it's hard, I know, because I have allergies and I just like sneeze so hard when I go outside. And I completely understand that. But it can be anything. You can take your medicine before you go outside. Even if it's just going outside for 10 minutes, that is at least enough. It could be a hike in the woods if you are a hike person. Walking around in your park. It's just sitting in your backyard. Instead of painting your nails at your desk, painting your nails in your backyard. Connecting with nature. Anything outside has a soothing effect on your soul. Because you're able to look around nature and just realize all these things that you're grateful for outside. You're like, oh my god, look at these birds. And like you're listening to the birds sing and their songs it's just so pretty and it's just such an amazing thing lastly number 12 is to learn and grow continuous learning is amazing I'm such a learner because my dad is he's really taught me that engaging in activities that promote self-growth can be amazing it could be reading books a bit about something that you want to like do with your life for me I love to read psychology books it just helps me learn more and more about it taking online courses attending workshops learning new things adds a sense of accomplishment and joy every single day I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I hope you too, I hope you remember that happiness is not a destination, it's a journey. It's about finding joy in the little moments, embracing gratitude, and creating a life that aligns with your authentic self. So, I want you all to make a pact to sprinkle a little bit more happiness onto every single day. It can be literally the smallest thing ever. Just making sure that you're taking time for yourself and just actually being happy and enjoying your life and boosting your mood every single day can be amazing. Now, the most important thing that can boost your happiness is developing a relationship with God. And I really feel like just taking time to read the Bible, taking time to look at the different things that Jesus may have done in his lifetime, and just imitating Jesus and learning more about God, it can be something that can change your life and just make you the happiest person more than anything else. So I really want you guys to think about this episode and maybe to try some of the things out because they're really helpful and I even tried a lot of them myself. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys next week. Bye!